Uh, one of the problems I think with marketing today is that the, there have always been a lot of rogues in marketing. Um, but it's probably easier today than it's ever been for people to make promises on the internet to idiots um, <laughs> and basically lie to them. Yeah? Basically lie to them. And these guys are very clever. They're very clever. And one of the popular uh, lines is you don't need a list. I'm not saying you cannot make money without a list. I'm just saying that if you don't have a list, life is very hard. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you an example of how you can do something without a list. Yeah. I have a client um, who, I can't believe this guy, so I'm, sometimes I look at what we do for a living and I think, Drayton, you know, you need help. Yeah. So I have, a, I have an agency in Finland. My agency in Finland, somehow through some mysterious process that I don't understand, managed to get hold of a guy who had been following me over here a little bit, who's actually in Ireland. He's in Ireland, but he is Spanish. <laughs> and he wants to sell fucking ham. Yeah, so, <laughs> makes sense. So, you got a, so the guy trying to sell ham, did I, did I. So, I, so, this guy was saying, how can I build my list? And my guy in Finland, who's very, very sharp, um, Timo, and he's about, God, he's built like a tank. Every time I look at him, I feel terrified. He said, oh, maybe you can get, we can use the Naked Wines list, because I've known Rowan at Naked Wines for a long, long time. And, but I also know that Rowan doesn't give anything for nothing. <laughs> so I said, well, maybe we can do a piggyback offer on to the Naked Wines list. And of course, Rowan said, no, because of the work. <laughs> But that is that. But there are other people, and we said, okay, we noticed that. I mean, this is the way you solve problems, by the way. So we noticed that when we were doing stuff for Rowan, that the people that were most responsive to Rowan's offer of, you know, God knows how much free wine from blah blah blah, were people who sold buying meat, yeah, meat and drink. And so, so, so we then went to Gustavo and said, in a hall very popular Irish name, Gustavo. Um, and we said, hey, you know, maybe we could find, we can get some of these guys who sell meat. So you, so you can piggyback onto their list. But why are you piggybacking onto their list? You're piggybacking onto their list, aren't you, to try and get a list. You know? For those of you who are fascinated by this subject. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs>